especially in that first period. And, um, with all the goals we allowed, I think, yeah, we do have a bit of uh, a, a bit of an opportunity, so to speak, at, re at uh, redemption tonight, and I think that's something that uh, that is in the back of our minds. How different is the mindset knowing that Malkin and Crosby aren't in the lineup tonight? I don't think it changes too, too much. I mean, obviously those guys are world-class players, but I think um, their record speaks for itself. Since those guys have been out, I think they've still managed to you know, remain pretty successful. So it, we can't really change too much. We know they're a really dangerous uh, team in this building, and um, this is something we have to adjust to. Is the uh, pressure any different? This isn't a four-point game tonight, uh, not going up against a conference foe. Is, does that kind of change things a little bit? It shouldn't. I mean, I think um, every game from here on out is almost a playoff game for us, um, you know, the, the Western Conference. For instance, last four or five teams, you know, fighting for eighth place is tight, and I think, uh, like I said, we, we, we're aware of our position right now, and it's just something we've got to capitalize on. These are points that are huge right now in this month. And the confidence is uh, going pretty well. We've got a couple wins, and has to feel pretty good right now, right? Yeah, no, I mean, we, I think we are riding a little high, but I mean, at the same time, we got to kind of, you know, remain within ourselves. I think with these opponents we're playing against, we can't get too, you know, too confident. We still got to stick to our game plan and play simple, and I think uh, that's something that we got to just keep doing. Yeah. Okay, so first off, talk about the play of the line lately. It seems like uh, you guys have been playing well as a unit uh, late. Yeah, uh, you're right. We, uh, you know, we had success lately. Sometimes you go through uh, stretches where uh, you, uh, you have good chances. You play, uh, you think you play well. You do the right thing without the fucking stuff, but uh, you don't get a reward. But uh, it's nice once in a while to help your team to uh, put up some points and, and, and get some points on the standing. So. Uh, well, that's uh, that's nice. We have to keep going, obviously, to uh, you know, gain ground. And, uh, and all. I think uh, um, B and I, we uh, since I, I came first, I came here. I played with him and we develop uh, chemistry right right away. So uh, you know, it's it's uh, fun to play with him. How's the mindset going into this one, considering what Pittsburgh did to you two months ago? Oh well, yeah, I mean, uh, regardless that what happened with, with them, I mean, for us it's it's huge for the, the standing, huge for uh, to get those points. Uh, you know, they got missing a couple of guys, but for for our sake, is just to focus on what we have to do and really continue what we've been doing lately with give us success. So that's going to be our main focus. Uh, but uh, yeah, obviously, it'd be nice to get them uh, get them back a little bit. Carrying that momentum from the past weekend, now you have two in a row. San Jose, a four point game tomorrow night. You know, so talk about carrying that momentum from the last two games to these next two. Yeah, I mean, uh, you don't want to get carried away too much. Uh, it's cliche you want to take a game at a time, but uh, that's that's the reality. That's the way you want to approach it. Tonight we have a big, big challenge, big game. Uh, expecting a, you know, probably a physical game too. They like to play that way here at, the, at uh, their rink. Uh, we go from that game, and, and obviously we uh, hope we, uh, we can carry in momentum that uh, we gained last couple of games and uh, get another win tonight and uh, carrying that again for tomorrow. So but, uh, we'll start with tonight. It's, uh, Do you expect a different type of game considering Crosby and Malkin is out of the lineup? Well, obviously it changed uh, it's changed their, their, their look, no doubt. When you talk about uh, players of the, that impact on the team, it, it definitely changed. Uh, although I, on the other end, though, when it's... It's often the case where uh, you take key players on the out of the lineup. Usually, the rest of the group kind of picked it up and, and play hard and play as a system and really focus. And they've been winning some games without uh, Crosby lately, so that tells you they have some other good players as well and, and play well. So you can you can think it's going to be easy because these guys are out for sure. Yep. All right, thanks. Thank you. Um, did it be, unfortunately, you go to a break here, but I assume the, the, the Super Bowl was important. Yeah, it was. A, it was uh, a little disappointing, obviously. I'm a big Steeler fan, and uh, you know, I thought at the end that Ben was going to pull it off. It went right down the wire, but uh, certainly it was a great game, though. Why are you a big Steeler fan? How did how that develop? You know, just when I was a kid growing up there, when they won all their Super Bowls, everybody was Cowboys fans. And I just, I just really like the Steelers. I like the Steel Curtain, all those old names, all those old players. Already no Crosby, no Malkin. Can change anything you do today, or no? Oh, it hasn't changed them a whole lot. They, uh, <laughs> they're still going along strong. They're, uh, you know, they're playing hard. And, uh, in this building here, they've got a good record here. We're going to have to be ready to compete. You know, it's going to be, uh, they're getting lots of uh, contributions from sort of so called lesser known players. I mean, uh, even the guys that are stepping up from the American Hockey League are, are playing roles. So, um, again, that's uh, what we need to do. We've had, when we've had success here, especially recently, we've uh, all four lines have been going and getting contributions from everyone. Uh, they, of course, have last change tonight, but does it change anything you do? matchup-wise with those two out of the Oh, well, we'll see. Obviously, Danny will have sort of dictate where he wants to go having the last change, but, you know, we're sort of we're non-conference team, so it's 
know, it's not like you're facing these guys all the time and you got a good, real good read. I got to get a feel for you know the direction he's going to go, and it has a lot to do with Rick and Jake and Brass. You know, who he wants up against those guys, and you know, we'll try to you know, make some changes to move that along. You don't have to remind them about last time. Sorry. You don't have to remind them about last time, right? I'm sure that's fresh. Uh, ah, yeah, I think that uh, you know that one was uh, that stung pretty good. Uh, we were going along pretty good at that time, and uh, that one really hurt. They certainly uh, came in and gave it to us, but uh, you know, we have an opportunity, a little bit of payback, and hopefully we can do that tonight. How do you explain your good record against the East? Uh, I think it has sometimes a little bit has to do with sort of the unfamiliarity of each other. Uh, kind of both, you know, you can watch all the video you want, but the players when they get out on the ice together, it's not that same hatred that you have against the teams within your division, and um, you know we've been. I don't, I don't know, not the exact. I don't know the exact reason, but we've just we've matched up real well, and um, you know, and we've really stressed the importance of those points. Not you know, as much as the uh, the divisional games and conference games are big, but when you play all these teams on the East, you gotta you know take advantage of the situation, and we have done we've done that to help us uh, sort of stay in the racer.